trash uh, Sunday evening. Just want to do a quick weekend update on some projects I've been working on and a review I've got for you. The holidays are coming up. We'll be getting some battle reports in around that time. Uh, so I've been working like a busy little beaver trying to get some stuff done. So here's what I've noticed. If you remember a few weeks ago that I bought uh, a lot of these Model Air metallic colors. So here we go. This is the black, the gun, and the steel. I found these to be very awesome colors. Uh, well worth it if you're trying to get out of the uh, the GW. Hey, I do everything in bolt gut metal and then go over it in mithril. I want to see something more dynamic. Uh, these are probably something you may want to look into. So all these three colors are going to be metallic colors. Uh, a good coverage, a good metal look. Uh, there's actually more of the metallics than this, but here's the reason I'm going to go with this. Uh, black is going to be like your shadow metallic cutter color. So say if you were doing a bolt gun or what have you and you wanted to get like shadows in, it's a really good base metallic to go over. And then you go into the gun, which is probably going to be really equates out to like a bolt gun metal. Or if some of you old school, old school guys remember um, some of the armory paints, they had a uh, they had a black metal that was uh, pretty much used for like muskets. Uh, if you're if you're familiar with the color of a musket barrel, it's really uh, it's not black, but it's really dark metallic. It's it's really good for for a gun metal color. And then steel, uh, I kind of equate to like uh, what the mithril is for GW. I use it for highlighting. Now, the, uh, on top of that, there's aluminum and chrome. I've used maybe once or twice. Uh, those are really <laughs> extremely bright, and I've never found anything in practical painting. Maybe there's one-off situations that I'm really going to use those for. But these three right here, I think are, these are gold right here. You know, you've got your, you got your base, your main, and your highlight, and, you know, that's really, really awesome. I really, really like that. So... This weekend, I've uh, worked on some few things. I was really inspired to do some Hell Dorado stuff. Uh, I went to the Miniature Mentor website and downloaded the Thomas David Speed Painting, and he does a lot of zenithal lighting. Uh, he uses a lot of airbrushing, um, and I was just really inspired to get some Hell Dorado stuff done watching that. So, uh, if you remember on the last video, I've got the little blue spot here, so I can get everything centered. Uh, I told you guys I would want I was going to do this guy. I got him finished. Uh, he looks pretty cool. Uh, I hope the focus is coming in okay. Maybe I need to reposition the camera to get it all centered in. But uh, yeah, he's all done. Um, I did a, a. It's red. It's a uh, very sandy, very, and if you notice, the uh, I did another dark color scheme uh, on the skin, and I think it looks really good. This uh, right here on the blade, you can see I've tried to do a little metallic metal, you know, darker going in, uh, brighter going out. So that is going back to the Vallejo. That's the uh, black going into the steel, and then at the edge of the blade there, you're going to find that it goes into the, uh, uh, I'm sorry, black gun into the steel at the very tip, so it's uh, it's very cool looking on that, um, just fine, it's very, very cool overall, like I said, I told you I'd get that done, and then uh, let's go to the next one, uh, this was a speed paint model I'd done, uh, you remember the, on the last video, I showed you the colors I was using for the steel using the uh, Vallejo, I think that was the bright brass going over that with a, a Griffin Sepia ink. Very, very cool. Yes, I did the green. It is a complimentary color. Uh, so it'll be, oh, it looks like Christmas. You know what? Screw you. I think it looks cool. And so there you go. And uh, that's just your uh, foot soldier guy. And then, and then finally, uh, I want to put this guy out here. This one I just finished today. This is a demon um, that I'd done. Um, I wanted it to look old, so I went and dry brushed it, uh, not dry brush, but I'm sorry, airbrushed it. I airbrushed it all gray, uh, went into it with uh, some deadpan uh, green, green, uh, green black uh, tones, and then highlighted up to like uh, on the knees and the face. I wanted to go more of a flesh tone, and then went on the very tips. And then on the face, I wanted to get like really irritated red. And then actually on the face, more of like a like a like all the blood was rushed to his face on that demon. And then uh, then you can see I've got like little pus sores on his stomach. Uh, that was really awesome. And then all over his ass, he's covered with hits on his ass. And then I went over it with like a brown ink uh, just to tie that in with the uh, 
the hand bandages and stuff like that just to make it more creepily eerily defined i think it ended up being really really cool and when i learn how to do my camera work better you'll be able to see it as well and uh i just really like that model and then uh on the blade here i did try to do some more uh whoo, I tried to do some more work on the uh, metallic metals and doing some, uh, I put some brown on there and also on that I did some, um, I did some red uh, to like make it look like a stained blood look. Uh, all in all, I'm really pleased with that uh, coming into the channel, so welcome if this is your first video. In the last video I did put up the uh, release schedule of these guys. And these guys, this is part of the Demon Starter, which will be out in December. These guys both are in the uh, Saracen Starter that will also be out in December. Uh, very, very nice models. Uh, you should give them a check, uh, cypherstudios.com. Not got a whole lot on the Malifaux front. Hopefully, we'll get some work on that. And then, hopefully, I appreciate everybody. So, have a great week. Later.